children in this video we will learn about number patterns the alien is going to meet raju and bablu today with his flying saucer raju and bablu were playing in the park when the alien also reached there raju and bablu are very happy to see the alien the alien told them that today he will take them to a unique world but he has one condition raju and bablu will have to solve two of his puzzles now raju and bablu accepted the condition of the alien look look even numbers hey but there are some numbers missing here can you find these numbers this is your first puzzle the alien told raju and bablu children can you help raju and bablu in filling the blanks Raju, do you see any rules in these numbers? Bablu, let's take a closer look at these numbers. Bablu, can you tell what is the difference in the number between 12 and 14? Yes, 2. And what is the difference between 14 and 16? Oh yes, Raju. The answer to this is also two. Look, Bablu, I got the rule of these numbers. When two is added to each digit, the next digit is found. And Bablu, do you know such groups of numbers in which numbers follow a particular rule? We call them number patterns. Hey, wow, Raju. This number pattern is so interesting. So, what do we have to do to get the next number in this number pattern? We have to add 2 to 16. Then 2 added to 16 is 18. Bablu, now can you tell what will be the next number? Hmm. Add two to eighteen, and you get twenty. Raju, we have solved the first riddle. Both Raju and Bablu started dancing. Children, do you see one more special thing in these numbers? Here, all the numbers have zero, two, four. Six or eight at the unit position. Do you know that such numbers, which have zero, two, four, six, or eight numbers at units place, are called even numbers? Raju and Bablu completed this number pattern. using the process of addition well done you two have solved it perfectly let's see if you can solve my next puzzle the alien now showed his second puzzle to raju and bablu raju this puzzle looks harder than the first puzzle Yes Bablu let's find a solution together Children please also think what is the rule of this number pattern If you wish you can stop the video and think of the answer Well done children you have got the right answer What do we have to do to get the 95 from 97 here Yes, we have to subtract 2 from 97.
and what to do to get 93 from 95? Exactly. Once again, subtract 2. So, to get the next number, in this number pattern, we need to subtract 2 from the number before it. Here is the rule of this number pattern. The next number in this number pattern will be 2 less than 93. And what will be its next number? 2 less than 91. In this way, our pattern is completed. Children, do you see something special in this pattern? Like the pattern of even numbers? All numbers in this pattern have digits of 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 in the unit place. Such numbers which have digits of 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 in the one digit place are called odd numbers. Raju and Bablu, like you, completed this number pattern by using the subtraction process. Amazing! You both have found the solution to this puzzle perfectly. Let me take you on a spacewalk with me in my flying saucer. Raju, Bablu and the alien set out to travel space in the flying saucer. Children, in this video, we learned about the number pattern. In the next video, we will learn about some more unique number patterns. In the previous video, we learned about the number pattern. In this video, we will learn about some more unique number patterns. One day, Appu was fast asleep. In his dream came an angel. The angel said to Appu, I will ask you some questions. If you answer them correctly, I will give you one special gift. Appu became happy. The angel showed such a number pattern to Appu and said, Complete this number pattern. Appu started wondering how he could complete this number pattern. Children, can you help Appu in completing this number pattern? Let us find the rule of this number pattern. What would we do if we had to reach from 30 to 31? Exactly! We will add 1 to 30. And what do we have to do to get 33 from 31? Yes, we have to add 2. And finally, if we have to reach 36 from 33, what will we do? 3 will be added to 33. Children, you can see that the number being added every time is increasing by 1 to get the next number in this number pattern. So, what kind of pattern is this number pattern? Quite rightly, this number pattern is a growing pattern. So, 
What do we need to do now to pursue this number pattern? We have to add 4 to 36. This gives us what? 40. And what shall we do to get the next number? That's correct. Add 5 to 40. Adding 5 to 40. 45. Oh wow! We filled in the blanks of this increasing number pattern. Appu also filled in the blanks of this growing pattern using the process of addition like us. The angel became happy. She said to Appu, Well done Appu. Your answer is absolutely correct. Now, all you have to do is fill in the blanks of this number pattern and then that gift will be yours. Children, can you help Appu fill in the blanks of this number pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. What do we have to do to get 98 from 100? Yes, we have to subtract 2 from it. And what will we do to reach 95 from 98? We will subtract 3 points from 98. Now, what do we have to do to get 91 from 95? Alright, we have to deduct 4 from 95. Children, here you can see that the number being subtracted every time is increasing by 1 to get the next number. So, the next number in this pattern will be 5 lower than 91 or 86. And what shall we do to get the next number? That's correct. Minus 6. That is 80. Appu also used subtraction process like us to fill in the blanks of this number pattern correctly. Children, if you look at the first and second pattern asked by the angel, you will find that the numbers in the first number pattern are increasing. And the numbers in the second number pattern are decreasing. And kids, do you know another interesting thing? If you look at these number patterns carefully and see the number patterns learned in the previous video, you will find that the number being added or subtracted in the number pattern of the previous video was always the same. While the numbers we saw in this video are different. The numbers to be added or subtracted each time. The angel said to Appu, Well done Appu. This answer of yours is also right. When you wake up in the morning, you will get your gift at your bedside. Saying this, the angel disappeared from Appu's dream. When Appu awoke from sleep in the morning, he saw that there were some golden coins in a bundle at his bedside. Appu started dancing happily. In this video, we learnt about some more unique number patterns. In the next video, 
we will learn more about the number pattern by some interesting examples. In the last video, we learned about some unique number patterns. In this video, we will learn to make number patterns using some more mathematical operations. Today, a unique game is being played in Champapur. Meenu and Bhola have taken part in this game. In the game, both of them have to complete the number pattern. The one who completes the number pattern correctly first will get 10 points. The game's organizer, Babban, showed them both these number patterns. Bola and Meenu were shocked to see that number pattern. Both told Babban, <gasps> There is no pattern in this. Are you joking, Babbanji? There is no pattern in this. Are you joking, Babbanji? Babban laughed and said, <laughs> No, this is a number pattern. Look carefully. Bola and Minu started to complete the number pattern. Children, do you understand the rule? of this number pattern? Let us see what is unique in this number pattern. First, we will look at the first two numbers of this number pattern. How do we get 28 from 22? Exactly! By adding 6. And what do we have to do to get 21 from 28? Yes, we have to subtract 7 digits from 28. Have you got any rules so far? No, no problem. Let us look at the next number. What will we do to get 27? From 21, we will add 6 digits to 21. And how do we get 20 from 27? 7 is subtracted from 27. Children, do you now understand the unique rule of this number pattern? Well, you are thinking right. This number pattern is being carried forward by adding 6 once and subtracting 7 the second time. So, what do we have to do to fill this blank space now? That's correct. We have to add 6 to 20. What will it be? 26. And now what do we have to do to fill these other spaces? Yes, we have to subtract 7 out of 26. 7 less than 26? 19. Here we completed this number pattern perfectly by using the process of addition and subtraction. Minu excitedly said, I have found another rule of this number pattern. If you look at the numbers written at odd places of this number pattern, you will find that the numbers written at these places are one less than the numbers coming before them. 1 is subtracted as the number written in the first place is 22 and the number written in the third place is 1 less than that, 21. So, what do we have to do to get the number written in the seventh place? Minu 
asked the audience. That's correct. One has to be subtracted from 20. In this way, the number of the seventh place will be 19. Now, I looked at the numbers written at even number places and found that these numbers are also found to be subtracted by 1, like the numbers written at odd number places. Children, can you tell what number will be in the 6th place? Exactly! In 6th place is 26, 1 less than 27. In this way, Minu won the round by winning 10 points. Children, do you see the difference between the first rule used to solve this number pattern and the number patterns seen in the previous video? Yes, in the number patterns seen in the previous video, we were using only one rule of either addition or subtraction. But in this number pattern, we are using both addition and subtraction processes. Now Babban showed the contestants the second number pattern. Babban said, You have to find the rule of this number pattern. Whoever finds it first will get 10 points. Minu tried to use the addition process. In this pattern, no rules can be made using the process of addition because different numbers are being added each time. Bhola tried to use the subtraction process. Here the numbers are in increasing order, so I can't use subtraction here. Bhola and Minu were in deep thought. Children, can you find the rule of this number pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. The first number here is 4 and the next number is 40. If we use the process of multiplication, we will find what we need to do to get the number from 4 to 40. Exactly! We have to multiply 4 by 10. Let us now look at the next number, 400. What do we have to do to get a number from 40 to 400? Yes, 40 has to be multiplied by 10 once again. Oh wow children, we have found the rule of this number pattern. To get the next number here, we are multiplying the number before it by 10. This time, Bhola correctly identified the rule of number pattern and won 10 points. Minu and Bhola have scored equal points. Babban declared both Bhola and Minu the winner of the competition and gave them the winning trophy. Everyone in the audience is clapping. Bola and Minu are happily dancing. Children, in this video, we learned to make number patterns by using some more mathematical operations. Children, in this lesson, we will see some fun patterns of multiplication. Raju and Bablu are roaming in the market. Raju asks Appu the price of Laddu. Appu told Raju that the price of Laddu is 9 rupees per Laddu. 
Raju quickly gave 18 rupees to Appu and took two laddus. Bablu was shocked. How Raju did this multiplication so quickly? Raju replied that he knows the magic of mathematics. Bablu could not understand anything. Bablu told Raju that he too wants to learn the magic of mathematics. Kids, do you also want to learn some math magic? Let us also learn with Bablu. First, Raju is teaching Bablu the easy way to memorize the table of 2 and 8. Raju is first referring to 2's table. He wrote these patterns in a table. 2, 4, 6, 8, 0 in two lines. Now he wrote 0 in this way in front of 2, 4, 6 and 8 in four cells of the first line. And finally wrote a 1 like this next to the written 0. Now he wrote 1 in this way next to 2, 4, 6 and 8 out of the second line. And finally he wrote 2 in this way next to 0. Children, did you see any magic? Yes! And that's a table of 2 right here. Now Raju is telling Bablu that he can easily make a table of 8 using a similar pattern. Raju once again made such a table. Now he filled these patterns in both lines. 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Now in front of the digits written in the first line, Raju wrote 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in this way. Then in front of the digits written in the second line, he wrote 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in this way. And the table of 8 was ready. Bablu excitedly told Raju that this magic math was great fun. Does any other table also show some patterns for easy memorization? Do you also want to see more math magic with Bablu? Raju tells Bablu that he can also tell him an easy pattern to memorize the tables of 3 and 7. Kids, do you know the game of cross and zero? Raju first designed the game of cross and zero in this way. He wrote the numbers from 1 to 9 in this pattern in the framework. Raju wrote 0 in front of the digits in the first line. 1 written next to the second line digit and 2 written next to the digits of the third line. Bablu started dancing happily. Do you know why? Because he could see the table of 3 here. Now Raju made a structure similar to the table of 3 for a table of 7. But this time Raju started writing numbers from 1 to 9 from this box. Then 
next to the digits written in the first line, he wrote 0, 1, 2. Then next to the digits in the second line, he wrote 2, 3, 4. And in front of the digits of the third line, he wrote 4, 5, 6. Here we have our table of 7 ready. Bablu was so happy to learn these unique patterns of memorizing tables. And he also bought Raju two more laddus from Appu's shop. Children, in this lesson, we have seen some fun patterns of multiplication. Children, in the previous lesson, we saw how Raju gave Bablu an easy way to memorize the tables with some unique patterns. Would you like to learn some more such patterns? Let's learn. Let us see two unique patterns to memorize the table of 9 easily. To make a multiplication table of 9, first write the numbers in decreasing order from 9 to 0 in this way. Now, write a number like this from 0 to 9 next to these numbers. Isn't that easy? We can easily multiply any multiplication of 9 on our fingers in another way. Suppose we have to do 7 times 9. We have to find the answer of 7 times 9 here. So we will bend our 7th finger in this way. Now, how many fingers are there on the left side of the bent finger? 6. In this way, we will write it in a tens digit place. Now, how many fingers are there on the right side of the bent finger? 3. We will write this in a ones digit place like this. We found our answers. 7 times 9 equals 63. In this easy way, we can quickly find any multiplication that falls in the 9's table. You can also try this method with your friends. Kids, do you want to learn the patterns of memorizing the tables of 5 and 10 easily? Let us first look at the pattern of easy memorization of 5's table. First, we will write the digits from 0 to 6 twice this way. Now, we will write 0, 5, 0, 5, these patterns behind these digits. Did you recognize the pattern? Yes, it is the multiplication table of 5. Isn't it easy? Let us now Learn the easy process of memorizing the table of 10. First, we will write 0 in this way 10 times. Now, next to these zeros, we will write the numbers from 1 to 10 like this. What do you see here, children? Yes! Our 10 table is ready. Children, now you can memorize the tables very quickly using these easy patterns. In this lesson, we learned some more interesting patterns of multiplication. Hello children! In this video, we will learn about patterns in alphabets. 
children do you remember how babban found a lamp while roaming in the park one day from that day till today babban must have made at least one round of the park daily even today he has come to the park in search of the lamp and what today babban finally saw the lamp once again babban immediately picked up the lamp and started rubbing it hard the voice of the genie was heard from the lamp i will fulfill your three wishes but this time you have to find the rules of my pattern shown for every wish as soon as you find the rules of the pattern shown by me i will fulfill your wish <laughs> babban began to dance happily as soon as he heard the voice of the genie he shouted dancing and said to the genie I agree I agree quickly show me the first pattern as you wish my lord saying this the genie showed babban such a pattern babban was baffled for a while i have seen patterns made of numbers colors and shapes but in this pattern I can see only the letters. Children, have you seen such a pattern before? Like we make different patterns from numbers, colors, and shapes. Similarly, we can also make patterns by using letters. Such patterns which are made using letters are called patterns in alphabets let us see whether babban was able to recognize the rule of this pattern hmm first i try to find some sort of repetition in it z z y z z y z z y good Here Z Z Y is repeating in these three letter group over and over again. Oh wow! I found the rule of this pattern. Babban told Genie the rule of the first pattern. Your answer is absolutely correct. What is your first wish? There is a lot of water scarcity in the village today. I want another well in the village. Babban told the genie. Suddenly, a well is formed in front of Babban. Babban cannot believe his eyes. Now, the genie showed this second pattern to Babban. This is your second pattern. By finding the rule, you can fulfill your second wish. Babban got excited to find the rule of this pattern. Children, can you find the rule of the pattern made from this letter? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Firstly, the first letter of the alphabet A is written in capital letter. Then, the small letter of the same letter is written. The same rule is then repeated for the next letter B. In this way, this pattern has been made by writing capital letters of every letter and then small letters babban also discovered the rule of pattern made from alphabet pattern like you 
Your answer is absolutely correct. What is your next wish? <laughs> I need new shoes so that I can go for a walk every morning and stay healthy. Babban told the genie. Just then, new shoes appeared in front of Babban. This is your last pattern. Find the rule of this pattern and fulfill your third and last wish. <laughs> Saying this, the genie showed Babban this third pattern. Babban was shocked. It looks like a very difficult pattern. Children, can you help Babban in finding the rule of this pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. The first letter of this pattern is L and the second letter is O. The difference between these letters L and O is of two letters. And how many letters difference is there between these letters O and R? Exactly, two letters. Thus, the rule of this pattern is the difference of two letters between each letter and the letter preceding it. Babban found the rule of this pattern with your help. Your answer <laughs> is right. Tell me, what is your third wish? The genie asked Babban. Babban thought for a while and said, I want all the villagers to get one sack of wheat. All the people of the village got a gold sack of wheat as soon as Babban said so. All the villagers became very happy. The lamp disappeared when Babban's third wish was fulfilled. Babban put on his shining new shoes and happily returned to his home. Children, in this video, we learnt about patterns in alphabets. In the next video, we will learn more about patterns in alphabets. In the previous video, we learned about patterns in alphabets. In this video, we will learn more about patterns in alphabets. Bola is returning home from school. On the way, he saw a bright object. When he looked closer, he found such a pen. Bola brought it home with him. When Bola tried to write from that pen, suddenly, the pen started writing automatically. Bola noticed that the magical pen had written a pattern in such a way. What can be the rule of this pattern? What letter should I write in this blank space? Bola started thinking. Bola then looked at the pattern more closely. Hmm, here two, two letter pairs are made. Let me look at the small letters first. Well, here the small letters are increasing in order. And the capital letters? Let me repeat these two letters. Z, Y, Z, Y repeatedly in capital letters are visible. So, 
the next two letters in this pattern will have the smaller letter F next to E and the capital letter will be Z followed by Y. Bhula quickly wrote these letters F, Y in the blank space from that magical pen. As Bhola filled in the blank of the pattern, all the letters became toffees. <laughs> Bhola got excited. Now, once again, the magical pen started writing itself. This time, the pen has written such a pattern. Bhola was shocked. He could not understand the rule of this pattern. Children, can you help Bhulaf find the rule of this pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. If we look at this pattern closely, we will find that every time the letters are being repeated, the next letter is being added to it. Like the first letter is A. The next time A is repeated, B is added to it. And when AB, both these letters are repeated, then the next letter C was added to it. So, now what will be the letters that come in the blank space? Repeating A, B, C will add the next letter D to it. In this way, the letters in the blank space will be A, B, C, D. With your help, Bhola also wrote down the letters that came in the blank. This time, when Bhola filled the blank correctly, all the letters became golden flowers. Bhola could not believe his eyes. <laughs> now, the pen wrote such a pattern. I recognize the rule of this pattern. Having said this, Bhola quickly filled in the blanks. Children, can you tell which letters Bhola has written in the blank space? Here, the letters are written in sequence. And each time the letters are being added to the pattern, the number of times that letter is being repeated is also increasing by one. For example, the first letter A is written only once, while the second letter B is written twice, and the third letter C once more than B has been written three times. In this way, how many times will the letter D be repeated in the blank space? Exactly, four times. As Bhola filled the blank, this time the pen disappeared. And all the letters together became a new pen. When Bhola saw that new pen, it was written on it, Knowledge grows by sharing. Bhola understood the message written on the pen and immediately went out to tell his friends about the patterns in alphabets. In this video, we learnt about patterns in alphabets.
Do you remember the patterns you have learnt in the lesson of the dot grid? Can we also create a pattern with numbers? Let's learn about number patterns made with three digit numbers in this lesson. Raju and Bablu are walking in the park. Hey, how did it suddenly become dark? Look, Bablu is being pulled into that flying saucer. Raju is shocked. He is unable to do anything. Ho 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 ho! Your friend is in my possession. If you want to save your friend, then you have to complete three of the codes given by me. If you cannot complete these codes, then I will take your friend away from the Earth forever. The alien from the flying saucer said to Raju, "This is my first code. This is a strange code." Raju wrote the code on a paper and ran fast to Big Mouth Duck Uncle in search of the answer. This looks like a number pattern. Number pattern, Uncle. What is this number pattern? A list of numbers that follows a certain order or pattern is called a number pattern. Here's your number pattern. Look at the sequence of numbers here. Can you identify the sequence and tell the next number? To get from 104 to 107, we have to add 3 to 104. Then to get from 107 to 110, we will add 3 to 107. Similarly, we can add 3 to every number and find the next number. To find the next number, we have to add three to one hundred and thirteen. So, if we add three to one hundred thirteen, then next number would be one hundred sixteen. This will be the answer to the code. He thanked the uncle and ran to the alien to give the answer and save Bablu. One hundred sixteen. The answer to your code is one hundred sixteen. This is the right answer to save your friend. Now you have to solve the next code. In the next video, we will see what the next code of the alien is. Do you think that number patterns can be created only by adding numbers? Will the next code given by the alien be formed by simply adding numbers? Children, in this video. We have learned about the number patterns made from three digit numbers. In the next video, we will learn more about this. Hello children. In the previous video, we learned about number patterns made with three digit numbers. In this video, we will understand some more interesting number patterns can you complete this pattern yes you are right to find the next number in the pattern we need to add 10 like we will add 10 to 550 to reach 560 then to find the next number we add 10 again to 560 Similarly the next number of this pattern is 570 and by adding 10 it becomes 580 Let's see what is the next code of the alien The next code given by the alien looks something like this I cannot add any of these numbers using Batak uncle's trick I have to go back to uncle again Raju once again wrote the code 
on a paper and ran off to Batak uncle. Hey son, it's not always necessary to use addition to find the next number in the pattern. At times, subtraction can also be used for the same. Pattern followed can be found by observing the numbers coming one after the other in the series. Okay, let me explain this to you. Come, let's also find an answer to this code with Raju. Look at this number pattern. Here, we need to find the first number. Let us find the pattern from the next two numbers. To go from 416 to 412, we have to take back 4 steps. Means we have to subtract 4. Then to reach from 412 to 408, again we have to minus 4. Similarly, to find the next number of this number pattern, we have to subtract the number by 4. This pattern is ready for this number pattern. Now can you find the number which will result in 416 on subtracting 4 from it? Oh, it is very difficult. Oh no son, if we add 4 to 416, then we will easily find the first number of this pattern. So the answer to our code is add 4 to 416. That is 420. Raju told the answer of the code to the alien and the alien showed his third and last code. Children, today we saw a new type of number pattern. In the next video, we will try our best to save Bablu from the alien using our knowledge in number pattern. Children, till now we have learned how to recognize number patterns. Let us evaluate our knowledge in this lesson. Can you complete this pattern? Yes, you recognize it correctly. If we need to get 745 from 750, we need to subtract 5 from it. To reach 740 from 745, we need to subtract 5 again. Now if we want to know the next number after 740, so we have to subtract 5 again, which will give us 735. This way, the number to be filled in the blank is 735, which is 5 less than 740. Look carefully. If we subtract 5 from 735, we get 730, which is already given. Children, could you also identify the pattern? Let's see, what is the next code given by the alien? Oh, no! We can see two different number patterns here. This time, the alien showed Raju two number patterns and asked, What is that number? which can be written in the empty spaces of both the numbers. Raju was nervous after seeing two patterns, but he needed to save Bablu under any condition. Let's help Raju. We will first find the number pattern. To get to 902, we have to add 2 to 900. And if we look carefully at the last two numbers, we will find that to go from 906 to 908, we have to add 2. In this way, we can find the next number by adding 2 to each number. To get the next number of the code, we will add 2 to 902. By adding 2 to 902, the next number we get will be 904. Our first pattern is complete.
Now we will find the number pattern of the second blank. To get from 928 to 920, we have to go 8 steps back, means we have to subtract 8. Now to go from 920 to 912, we have to subtract 8. Similarly, to find the next number of this number pattern, we have to subtract the number 8 from every number. Now the number pattern is ready. And the answer to our code is got by subtracting 8 from 912, that is 904. Our second pattern is also complete. Let's look at both the patterns together to find an answer to the alien's last code. Oh wow! We got the answer! 904. We can see that 904 is the number that is in both the patterns. So the answer to our code is 904. Raju is very happy to get the correct answer. He quickly answered the alien. You have given the correct answers to all the three codes. I am returning your friend to you. The alien said to Raju. Bablu came down from the flying saucer and the flying saucer flew away from there very far. Raju and Bablu happily went home. Children, we hope that this lesson has helped you to understand the number patterns made with three-digit numbers.